My beloved has gone to his garden, to the beds of spices, to browse in the gardens and gather lilies. I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. He browses among the lilies. Song of Solomon 6, 2, 3. Hi everyone and welcome to Grace Abounds Homestead. A year ago this month, I moved from this house in Daytona Beach, Florida and from this garden to 10 acres in the foothills of the Ozarks in North Central Arkansas. This garden was a particular labor of love for me. It was a healing that I was led to um, with my second diagnosis of breast cancer and breast cancer surgery that I had. It was the Lord had led me to do this to um, grow and 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 fulfill a dream that I had had for my backyard to urban homestead and have this beautiful prayer garden and while this was going on I did much research and in doing so I discovered homesteading and tiny houses and I just kept being drawn and more drawn and more drawn in and I took it to my family and we prayed on it and we agreed that this was something that we really wanted to do. It was a journey that we wanted to go and experience. We wanted a slower pace of life, um, a um, more sustainable life. And um, we decided to, you know, dot our I's and cross our T's and go for it. So we did everything that we needed to do. Uh, to be able to make the move um, and it, it, the tribulation started um, the day that we were packing to leave the area um, we had a big huge storm that came up and delayed us for four hours of really being able to get our stuff into the to the u-haul but here's what we pulled up to minus the snow and we put little houses on them and then it began then things didn't go like it was pen and paper and the stress was real um, my house leaked and was damaged and we had had it drywalled and insulated and, and and all the electrical put in and we had to stop in january after six months of of working on it with shortages of this material and we had to wait for that material and um, once we finally had everything purchased and we were really going to town that happened and now that I'm looking at this footage of me collecting the eggs I, I look back and I think maybe this was supposed to happen because we ended up getting so much done on the outside of the property to make it look like a homestead instead of us putting three cabins on it on land with nothing and it gave us a, a little bit more sense of home and then we started to real relax but before that there was so many you know woulda shoulda couldas and why did we and did we make a mistake and was it more than we could take on and I had even ordered these chickens before we had left and everybody was like do you think we really need to order these chickens and looking back absolutely it was something that was was meant to be because it kept us busy in those times where we were really just I want to say a little depressed because we did not have a home to work on now my daughter and my son they have been working on their homes and my daughter's close to getting moved in and my son's kind of in between both of us so you know they're moving right along um, I had to let it go I had to let it go and find the peace of just being up there and let go all of the things and tribulations that were hitting us financially personally you know um, physically and and, and find the joy which is what I always try to do and it was really hard because I spent six months here just sick on, on medication and sick and and we did so much like starting to do little garden areas all around like this one that you're looking at and and when that fills out with flowers it's going to be just so beautiful and you know we got to build another chicken coop which was necessary because our pecking order didn't go all that great it went really bad and we had to separate eight chickens from ten chickens eight, eight from the 18 and 
we came up with this little blue coop that I told my husband not to measure, to eyeball it. I wanted it to be a little quirky, and it turned out wonderful. Um, it started out with the little one, and then we had to put the little one on the side because we had three that were still being a little bit picky. I mean, not just your average picking, pecking. Um, now they are, they, they three slept, the three sleep separately from the other five, but they are together all the time. Uh, free ranging and each other's and each other's side of the chicken coop so uh, they, they live pretty good together I, I could probably put them all together they would be fine but this was a blessing in disguise and um, it's just one of the many blessings that now I look back on after the year and say wow could this have been the plan you know God has a plan for you and he knows how it's going to go and uh, this is evidently how it was going to go and um, our new house is here. We are not in it yet. <laughs> it is sitting on our property waiting to get moved into place. And we're waiting for them to be able to get the old one out. It has been a bit of a problem. We've had to strip the whole house of everything before they can move it. Which was not our plan in the beginning. So we're just finishing that up. And then um, soon... Uh, we will be doing that swap and hopefully uh, with my new cameras that I got I will be able to get footage of that I'm trying to figure those out hey I have won awards for my photography videography I don't think I would win an award but I have been researching and um, looking up some training things on videography so you can see my little chickens with their their um, saddles on those were two of the ones that were really really injured bad and I have to keep them covered because they have some bare areas that could get pecked at but we don't really have any pecking on this side I have two broody one and the other one that you saw and this is Lacey she's super sweet but she gets mad when I move her a little bit but I read that it's you know get them up get them moving get them eaten so they will break their broodiness and my hens lay every single day just about since the day they started laying. So they are well taken care of and they are just a joy. I love their personalities. They all have a name and they all know their name and they all have individual personalities. It is absolutely adorable. is Levi my giant standard poodle he is my homestead companion he follows me and my husband wherever we go he's involved in everything that happens on the homestead and we love him our first dog in 27 years Here you see Levi, he loves his hens. He corrals them all in when the time is um, right to get them in in the evening. been so blessed that friends have donated plants and flowers uh, to our homestead to be able to put on. This is going to be Holly's garden. Holly did give us a bunch of plants out of her yard and I'm going to get a sign that says Holly's garden. I can't wait to see it in bloom. I think next year it'll be beautiful. We have been so blessed that friends have donated plants and flowers uh, to our homestead to be able to put on. This is going to be Holly's garden. Holly did 
give us a bunch of plants out of her yard and I'm going to give a sign that says Holly's Garden. I can't wait to see it in bloom. I think next year it'll be beautiful. This is the bunny habitat when we started it in January when we had to stop everything on our house and it has come to be a wonderful garden space that I did not think I was going to have. I love the fact that I can hang my clothes out on the line and let them blow in the breeze and that we have the farm to table garden around the bunny habitat or what I'm going to call the Peter Rabbit kitchen garden. Um, and we'll be able to eat straight from that, you know, farm to table, and so do the bunnies. Um, the other garden that I never even thought was going to happen at all is going to be our, you know, our canning garden and, and, and food, food prep and stock up. And look at what we started with. And we have a lot to go. Um, this is going to be our dream garden area. And... Um, I never even thought we were going to even get to have a garden at all. And when I look at the pictures that I just took uh, today and I see that I have the garden with the trellises and the garden bags and the berry bushes planted and the kids garden and you don't see it in this video, but we also have our, our, our fruit orchard in. Well, guys, it's been a, a, a a wild ride this year and I would like to thank you all for joining me on this on this ride and I would have liked to have posted more videos there just was so much going on that that I really I really could not get my head into it and um, I, I feel like now is the time to to start sharing um, we've gotten through the worst part of it and the word says consider it a great joy my brothers whenever you experience various trials knowing that the test of your faith produ produces endurance but endurance must do its complete work and that you may be mature and complete and lacking in nothing and I believe that is exactly so much truth right there we have endured and we are going to go on and it, all those trials have made us stronger and our faith is stronger and our homestead's going to grow stronger so i love you all i wish you grace peace and love and i'll see you on the next one bye thanks for watching and many blessings to you and your family if you enjoyed your visit with us today please hit the thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell.